promise you don't wanna know. How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and today we're going to be taking a look at the American Warrior Firework Assortment by Top Gun Brand. You get a mix between aerials and fountains in this kit. I can't wait to see it. Come to think of it, I probably don't need to be wearing my shades right now because it is a bit darker out. Sun's going down. So we got to get to unboxing this thing and I think to do that we're going to take it over to the tailgate of the pickup so we can pull these items out one at a time and show you what they are. Before we do that though, check out the merch. I'm going to flip it around. You see MILF, man I like fireworks, it's a play on words. And up front here we just have the CBP label right there. Forgot to mention it, but if you guys are ever interested in merch like this, you can check it out using the link in the description on every video. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the American Warrior Firework Assortment by Top Gun. Pull these items out one at a time. So one thing that's really interesting, I've never seen this before. Look at how many of these Saturn missile batteries you get. If I can even pull this out of here, but it looks like you get 150 shots worth of these, assuming these are 25 shots a piece. Let's get it open and find out. So they are indeed 25 shots a piece and check it out, you get all of these little Saturn missile batteries. I'm gonna put them out like that. Uh, on these, since it's 150 shots, we might just save that for the finale. I mean, everybody knows what those do, but it's still really cool. You never see that many in an assortment like this. We have seen this fountain before. It wasn't too impressive. This is crunchy. Uh, we've got another one of those too. It's like a popcorn fountain. We'll put those over here. Uh, we've got Stormy Ocean, love the name on this. Big waves on there too. Bit of a storm chaser myself. If you guys wanna check out that channel, I'll leave the link in the description. This one here is called Snowy Hill, and uh, that's pretty cool. Actually, if we can pan over to the left, we do have quite the hill right there. It's not snowy though. So I was wrong on these. My wife just pointed out that this is not popcorn. These are chicken McNuggets. Check it out. So you get a six piece meal right here. And then uh, moving on, I don't know what these are. So these are the flashing strobes. Okay. These things, they look kind of like cherry bombs, but they are not. Um, you know what, because there's so many of these, we're going to go ahead and light one right now. So let's go ahead and see a couple of these flashing strobes. Um, they really aren't that impressive. And you can probably see them better at night, but you get the idea. That's, that's pretty much all they do. Uh, let's get a handful of them going. So yeah, they're not too crazy. These are definitely safe for your backyard. Um, <laughs> so I twisted the fuses to get... <laughs> okay, all right. So I twisted the fuses together. We're gonna throw a couple of those down there. I'm sorry guys, I can't keep it together after that. Um, I don't know what that noise was, but yeah, here goes the whole pack. So as you can see, I mean, they definitely look better at night. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh. It just... Yeah, that's about all they do. So moving on, I do see this tuck down here. Um, you get a or I've never seen that. They put the EX number on there. Usually that's on the case. Um, but these are ground blooms. We're gonna have to light one of these real quick. Even though everybody should know what these do, let's just go over here and we'll throw one at the hill. Maybe we can start a little bit of an avalanche. Who knows? Yeah, we're gonna do the other three real quick because that was kind of far away. I didn't realize if I throw it that far, you might not be able to see it. So let's get the other three out of the pack and we'll just put them on the ground right here. I mean, these ground blooms are fun for like the backyard, but we wanna see some bigger stuff tonight. Uh, did that other one not go? Yeah, it did. Yeah, they didn't work all that well. Now you do get one pack of these poppets and everyone knows what these do, but just to demonstrate, we're gonna throw one on the tailgate here. And I'm not worried about those setting off the fireworks cause I mean, look at the minuscule amount of flash you get out of these. So they're decent, but I mean, we really wanna talk about some big stuff here. So next one is a seven inch assorted fountain. Looks like that, just a standard. I bet this is like the jade flower. Then we've got the blue stars which I believe is a knockoff of Desert at Night, which is right here, believe it or not. Um, so pretty much the same thing here, just a bit smaller. So there's a lot of really generic items in this pack, so far anyway. See, we got the Twitter glitter, that is a classic, but it's also really generic. Uh, when they fill the assortments with stuff like this, 
I'm not a big fan of it since I do assortments all the time. We've got Sky Carnival 25 shots. Um, I wonder if this is just another uh, Saturn missile battery. We're gonna find out. It feels like it might be plastic under this, and it sure is. So this is gonna be like your happy fireworks, crackling comets with some stars that shoot out as well. Decent item. And moving on, we have the largest fountain in the pack, but it's really light, so I'd be willing to bet there's only like two tubes in this thing, but this is yellow submarine, pretty large size fountain. Then what's really interesting is here on the bottom, we have a number 300 single shot tube, and I would be willing to bet that this is gonna be the most impressive item in the assortment. However, we do have these ball shells down here. So we've got Festival Balls by Top Gun, and um, those are, 1.75 in diameter and these are super burst artillery i'm not sure that there's even a real difference between the two kits but they're both 175 no effects listed on the box we do have some photos but those are pictures of 13 professional grade pyrotechnics you're not going to find that in consumer but yeah just your standard firework assortment like this you're not getting anything too crazy i think this is cool that we get that for sure um, the other thing that really stood out was that you get six of these. So that's 150 shots of Saturn missile batteries. Now it's starting to get a lot darker out. So I'm gonna put my glasses on and get all this set up and I'll get right back to you. All right, check it out. We have all the items set up from the American Warrior assortment by Top Gun Fireworks. Take a look, we have all 12 of the ball shells in this rack, the single shot tube there, and our grand finale over here, 150 shots of Saturn missile batteries. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this assortment here costs $120 retail. All right, let's go ahead and start down here with the seven inch assorted fountain. Pretty generic. Yeah, that wasn't the best fountain, that's for sure. So here goes the Snowy Hill. These might be the same, but I don't know. At least this one has some crackle. There's quite a bit of wind out here tonight. Whoa, there we go. That was totally a better fountain. Look at the smoke in the headlights over there. That's really cool. All right, so moving on, we got another blue one like that. This is Stormy Ocean. Let's see if we have some different effects or is it the same thing? Oh, this one's quieter. Nice orange and red. Man, that wind is really taking it. Sweet, not bad. Um, the first one was definitely better. We're gonna light both of these crunchies at the same time. Here's your six piece chicken nugget. <laughs> Yeah, these are the same thing. Look at that strobe, though. Oh, that's like a weird jelly bean effect. Nice. Whoa, look at that. With the wind, that actually looks really cool. I didn't realize there was gonna be this much wind. That actually looks really cool. I can't believe they're still going. 
so far, those were the best fountains in the assortment. Um, let's go ahead and light the largest one. This is Yellow Submarine. And after this, we move on to the aerials. A couple of them are like fountain aerials though. So this would be the largest fountain in the kit. Look at that. If you were to put that one on top of a ladder, I bet it would look really cool. Nice. Good duration on this one. Yeah, I don't know. That had some cool effects, but I think the chicken McNuggets over here were better. And yeah, look at that smoke in the headlights. Looks awesome. Now let's start on the aerials, fountain aerial Twitter glitter. It's probably not gonna go that high though. Whoa, kind of scared me. Whoa. That was unique. Um, I thought it was gonna have like just some little stars that pop out, but that was a full blown crackle mine. So moving on, we have Sky Carnival 25 shots. This is gonna be like your happy fireworks in all the other assortments. And it's not even getting airborne. There we go. That's more like it. Oh no. <laughs> See that one went way up there. There we go. Yeah, that one did not work that well. But this next one coming up should be a little more impressive. This is Blue Stars. Again, I believe this is a fountain aerial. All right, so there's your fountain. Hopefully it doesn't tip. Not bad, but definitely quieter effects. You're not gonna get those nice breaks that you're used to. And last but not least, before we get into the bigger stuff, this is Desert at Night. Should be a little bit bigger than that last one. Really hoping it does not tip over. bad all right moving on to some of the bigger stuff i think before we do the shells i am just dying to see this this is the number 300 tube and i want to see just how big of a break we get on this hopefully it's nice oh definitely a nice shell holy crap so that one there sounded more like a canister shell, but moving on to some ball shells, we're gonna start with the Super Burst Artillery. There's six of them, we'll light them one at a time. Not bad, that had a nice little pop to it for a ball shell. Uh, maybe we'll do two at once. So let's see, two and then maybe we'll do three. 
I'm actually impressed with those ball shells because nine times out of 10 in these firework assortments, you're not getting real ball shells, but these look pretty symmetrical and they do have a nice pop to them. Here goes three. And these next six shells may not be as impressive, but uh, these are the festival balls. I'm hoping they're just as good as the last ones. Oh yeah. All right, let's see two of them. Yep, just as good as the first kit. And finally, let's see three. Um, I think we only got two. Let's go ahead and light that last one right away. I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, the fuse didn't go. There we go. Yeah, these are good. Nice. Well, I gotta say the ball shells definitely caught me off guard. This one here sounded like a straight up canister shell. A couple of nice long duration fountains, but now let's see our grand finale over here. 150 shots of Saturn missile batteries. If these all light, this assortment is getting an eight out of 10, which is kind of rare. Quick fuse. Not bad for a little 150 shot grand finale to end off the American Warrior assortment. And as you can see, they all went off. I was a bit skeptical on those fuses because they were super short. Uh, but anyway, this assortment, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. The fountains were decent. I wish that we got real 200 gram cakes instead of those two. But other than that, it was an all around great assortment for the money. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow.